Hello. Um, this is a live stream because I'm prepping a bunch of videos on how I set up Loopy Pro. And uh, one of the things that um, I'm going to do is walk you through getting from an empty Loopy to a, um, a working setup, a bit like this one which is the uh, setup I use regularly for singing chorus songs. So, um, for instance, Oh, what shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? Her lie in the morning. Hooray, up she rises. Hooray, and up she rises. Hooray, and up she rises. Her lie in the morning. Set him polishing up the brasswork, set him polishing up the brasswork, set him polishing up the brasswork early in the morning. Hooray, up she rises, hooray, and up she rises, hooray, and up she rises early in the morning. Put him in bed with the captain's daughter, put him in bed with the captain's daughter, put him in bed with the captain's daughter early in the morning. Hooray, and up she rises, hooray. And up she rises, hooray, and up she rises, and I in the morning. And you can, as you repeat, the choruses get more and more complicated. And um, that's a very, very, that's at the very simplest level. So how do we, um, um, let's look at how, starting from um, an empty template that I've set up here, I can discard those changes and I'm going to just bring the mouse over so you can see where I'm pointing. How do we go from an empty template to, um, to something in which, with which we can sing choruses? Well, um, I suppose the first thing we want to think about is what sort of form our chorus songs take and our shanties take. Uh, at the very simplest, we have... Um, a shanty which is just a verse and a chorus, and that repeats all the way through. We're never going to worry about middle eights, by the way. Middle eights are, are for people with instruments. For our purposes here, we're just talking about using Loopy to layer on harmonies on the bits of a song that repeat. We aren't worried about using the looper to put a backing track down or anything like that. There are other people you can go to for that. This is a very specific setup. So um, at the most basic level, I guess what we want to do is we've got a chorus and we're going to loop that chorus. So let's make a chorus. I'm going to put it down because it's the last one on. That's It'll make sense, I promise you, uh, when um, <laughs> later when it's more finished yeah so we've got a we've got a clip here and um several things going on with this clip let's let's call it um uh, let's call it call it uh chorus loop and um most of the defaults are fine for us but let's just have a look um in the playback settings we want no playback when we start. We want no quantization when we start because we aren't. This is where if you're playing an instrument, then you will want play quantization. It will want to come in on a loop boundary or on a bar boundary. And um, because you won't want to be starting midway through. But but when if you think about how we're doing it as unaccompanied singers, we can often we are often more fluid with our timing which is to say we don't stick to the metronomic beat for all sorts of reasons, some good, some bad. Um, but we So we don't want any quantization when we come in. We don't want to be locked to the grid because there is, in a sense, there is no grid. So we don't need that. Um, I like to have it time out to, to count out on the, on the length of the full loop because we, we're only ever going to want to play a full loop. Um, and it's very rare that we want to do anything else. And we can, we've got, techniques for for crashing out of that anyway so that's that's that um uh we're not really worrying about crossfade the overdub feedback by default definitely wants to be one the balance is in the center for the time being what else have we got what's visible here all that stuff at the top um 
time fitting, loop boundary crossfade, uh, time stretch is what we want, although we won't be doing anything. Record if empty, obviously. Uh, recording settings, we definitely want to override the recording settings. We have the same count in and count out quantization. We don't need auto count out. Um, the overdub count in and count out is the same as record, that's fine for this. Um, length quantization. I, you can essentially turn it off. It doesn't really matter. We don't want audio threshold recording. We're not recording an intro or a tail. Now, by default, it wants to overdub. But if you think about what we're doing, when we finish recording the chorus, we're going to be going to the next verse. So overdub is absolutely the wrong thing. So we want stop. Yep. And that is pretty much all we need. Oh, yes, there's one other thing. Um, wrong button. There's one other thing I like to do um, is that um, in general, the default here is if you single tap on a clip, what will happen is it will play uh, with a single finger. And I prefer that to default to recording. So what we'll do is we'll just make sure that record on press is not selected. Record if empty is fine. Yeah. Uh, and what we will do is we will change that to record this clip, toggle, and use default settings. Uh, default settings in this case are not the default settings for everything. It's the default settings. It's what the clip is set for. So uh, that's that. And then the other thing we do is we change, or I change, where's it gone? To finger tap, to instead of being play stop record, which is by default, to just play stop. So we've essentially swapped the two finger tap and the one finger tap around. Um, and that suits my kind of use where I am in fact always overdubbing. Yeah. So let's go back there. So now we can, um, let's sing a different shanty. This is the Mingalay boat song. You what happened there? Heal your whole boys. Just checking what's going on here. What's the what's wrong? Phase locked, loop, playback settings, override, time fitting, loop boundary crossfade, retrospective recording, don't need that. Auto count out, don't need that. Simultaneous recording, phase preservation, yes. After recording, stop. Are there any global clip settings that we need? Pause clock when idle, yes, that's fine. This is the, the reason you test stuff beforehand. <laughs> oh dear. Um, let's reset those gestures, see if it's that. Let's also check our audio routing. Oh, we aren't sending audio to red, so the clip's not hearing anything, which is not really ideal. So that's going to that. Yeah, I had something set up for for, for premature what's name. So let's um, let's go back and set those gestures again. Ah, oh, fuck it, we'll do it live. <laughs> so um, what I want to do is I always want to be recording with a single tap. So let's make that record. This clip, toggle, uh, default settings are fine. And then let's make the two finger tap. Instead of being play, stop, record, we're making it straightforward, play, stop. Uh, this clip, toggle, default settings. Okay. So now um, let's go with a different... Uh, 
uh, shanty this time. This is the Minglo boat song. <sighs> Heal your ho, boys. Let her go, boys. Bring her head round into the weather. Heal your ho, boys. Let her go, boys. Sailing homeward to mingle. What can we, boys? How white the minches. What can we, boys? The wind and weather. When we know that. Every inch is closer homeward to mingle. Heal your ho, boys, let her go, boys. Bring the head round into the weather. Heal your ho, boys, let her go, boys. Say. To mingle, wives are waiting by the pier head, gazing seaward from the heather. Bring her head round, and we'll anchor ere the sun sets on mingle. Heal your ho, boys, let her go, boys. Bring her head round into the weather. Heal your ho, boys, let her go, boys. Sailing homeward to mingle. Heal your ho, boys, let her go. You'll note um, you can see that I'm pressing and holding, and it's it plays on on um, release. Yeah. And if I double press twice, it starts the count out the first time, and the second time it stops it, which is handy. And then I swipe a long swipe to the left to delete it. So that is the very simplest kind of chorus song. Next up, we have um, something like um, Hanging Johnny. Now, Hanging Johnny is, uh, what it'll do is it has a bit of verse, and then in a shanty crew, the chorus, the, the, the crew comes back. Uh, so you'd have, Oh, they call me Hanging Johnny, and then everyone sings, Away, boys, away, and then there's sort of a punchline. And then everyone sings, so hang, boys, hang. And right now, we can't do that. We can do, oh, they call me hanging, Johnny. Away, boys, away, but I never own nobody. So hang, boys, hang. Well, the first I hung me mother. Away, boys, away, me sister and me brother. So hang, boys, hang. And that's all very well, but you do really want the full call and response. So what we do is we add something called a one-shot. And a one-shot, um, I'm going to move it here. I'm not moving it all the way down to, um, hang on, let's just let's make it so it looks bigger for you, yeah? Um, yeah. So you can see more of what's going on. Uh, that first clip is a response. Um, oh, away, boys, away. And then the third, the second clip is so hang, boys, hang. So let's call it something. Actually, let's let's give it a name, and it is uh, response. And let's have a look at what our settings are as well. 
Uh, playback settings, I'm pretty sure, are absolutely fine. Uh, we do not want hold to play held. Hold to play is great when you've got one shots that you're using as kind of notes, but for my, for our purposes, absolutely not. Uh, override record set recording settings. Auto count. We want to auto count the overdub. That's absolutely essential. Uh, auto count out, and um, uh, that will count out so that so so next time we so when we overdub our one shot clip, it will stop recording when. We've finished overdubbing, yeah. When we've finished, so you won't have you won't have the you won't have to remember to press the stop button each time. So uh, stop quantization wants to be loop for that precisely. No, that's that's not for that. This is recording auto count out the overdub. That's fine. We want the audio thread by default. You'll find I think audio threshold recording for one shots is turned on. We do not want that. Again, that's great for when you are, um, if you are. So here's my, why you might want this. So we've got auto audio threshold recording turned on and auto um, uh, auto count out overdub turned off. And what's the thing? We've got hold to play turned on, right? Okay, so what we're going to do, this, I'm going to show you what auto thresh, what audio threshold recording means. So, so what we can do is we can press this and it will wait until it gets something loud enough, so you can use it for things like drum hits. And let me just... Uh, several things I want to do here. Uh, there's, a, there's an issue that I don't quite understand that isn't always there, but you have to explicitly Although it says long swipe will clear a clip, it doesn't always do it. So, but if you explicitly bind it, it does. So, um, and the other thing that I want to uh, so let's do that. I'll show that again. Um, so what we're doing is we are making that first recording, and what will happen is it will wait till something's loud enough. Okay. So now we've got I don't know why that's not playing back. I can't. I certainly can't hear it. Oh, I know what happened. It missed a lot of that plosive at the beginning. I don't trust. <laughs> For all sorts of reasons, I don't trust um, threshold-based recording, and that's that's one of the reasons why. So let's go back and set it back to our auto count out overdub and remove hold to play. Simultaneous recording is turned off. Uh, let's just check our gestures. Uh, tap, we want to record, uh, again with the defaults, and two finger tap, we want to toggle play stop. So now um, we can do um, that. Um, oh, they call me hanging Johnny, away boys, away, but... Ah, timing peers. Oh, they call me in Johnny. Away, boys, away. But I never own nobody. So hang, boys, hang. Well, the first I hung me mother. Away, boys, away. Me sister and me brother. So hang, boys, hang. And the next I hung me granny. And so on, you know. Um, so that that's that covers an awful lot of shanty form songs. It's just you'd be you'd be um, you'd be bewildered by be bewildered by how many kind of shanties and, and folk songs you can get in that form. There's one other thing that pretty much lets us do um, everything. <laughs> 
a promise. Um, and that is um, when you've got songs like uh, A Drop of Nelson's Blood, which have the phrase, uh, a lot of, they're, they're the, one of the easiest chanties to improvise on. Um, you've got a single line of words, wouldn't do us any harm. A single line of words, wouldn't do us any harm. A single line of words, wouldn't do us any harm. And we'll all hang on behind. And we'll roll the old chariot along. We'll roll the old chariot along. We'll roll the old chariot along and we'll all hang on behind and you can in a sense in that in that in that ver in, at the moment you could just um use our response as that and we'll all hang on behind which is at the end of every verse so you might do a drop of Nelson's blood wouldn't do us any harm. A drop of Nelson's blood wouldn't do us any harm. A drop of Nelson's blood wouldn't do us any harm. And we'll all hang on behind and we'll roll the old chariot along. We'll roll the old chariot along. We'll roll the old chariot along and we'll all hang on behind. And the problem with that is you're having to do the timing. You, you want to, you, 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 it would be really nice if you only had to press once when you, and we'll all hang on behind, and then it continues on to record the chorus. And we can do that. So let's just, um, let's just duplicate, copy, paste, um, and this is now got exactly the same settings as the response, but I'm going to call it pre-chorus. And we are going to, and the thing that we add to this, the thing that makes it different is we have a thing called a follow action and follow actions are one of the best things going in, um, uh, in Loopy. They're just marvelous. Um, so we can we can when various events happen. So in these particular cases, we've got when when we're recording, when we start recording, finish recording, when we begin the initial record and the uh, end overdubbing, when we play it, when we stop it, when we clear it, and even uh, if you're feeling brave, you can have it responding to uh, changes of volume of the clip. But I've not really experimented much with that. You can use it to sort of fake a compressor and things like that. Um, so what we want to do is when we finish recording that um, pre-chorus, we want to immediately flip over to recording the chorus. So what we'll do is we will then choose record and we will set our target of a specific clip and the specific clip we're after is the chorus and the action not toggle. Almost never You almost never want to use toggle in a follow action. You almost always want it to be a specific record or stop or play or stop. Otherwise, you can get caught out. Uh, we're unlikely to in this particular template. But if you make a habit of never uh, using toggle in a follow action, you will be generally be a lot safer than if you don't. So we'll make it record. If the clip has audio, obviously we want to overdub. We're using the default settings. Easy squeezy lemon peasy, as they say. So that's that. And that's that. And I'm going to uh, take that out. I'm going to clear that. Uh... A decent pint of ale wouldn't do us any harm. A decent pint of ale wouldn't do us any harm. A decent pint of ale wouldn't do us any harm. And we'll all hang on behind. And we'll roll the old chariot along. We'll roll the old chariot along. We'll roll the old chariot along. And we'll all hang on behind. And we'll roll the old chariot along. We'll roll the old chariot along. We'll roll the old chariot along, and we'll all hang on behind. 
And another run ashore wouldn't do us any harm. Ain't another run ashore wouldn't do us any harm. Ain't another run ashore wouldn't do us any harm. And we'll all hang on behind and we'll roll the old chariot along. We'll roll the old chariot along. We'll roll the old chariot along and we'll all hang on behind. And there we go. We've got that uh, automatic play, that easy um, thing. We only have to press once and then we press again to make it stop. Um, there are a few things that I will address later that uh, we would quite like as an added feature of this. But for the time being, that is um, is what we're after. I'll, I'll show you some clever stuff about automation in a bit. But let us um, uh, think now about how we might want to initially set this up on, on our controller. Yeah. So what I, because so now that lets us do, I'm going to set up the controller first, right? So um, I'm going to make a separate control profile because I'm just going to make a separate control profile. So we go to control settings. And we add, I already have a control profile set up called Chorus, which I'm going to uh, clear because that was from my, that was from my rehearsal. <laughs> so now we go to Chorus. We've got no bindings. Um, uh, and um, we go to MIDI Learn here. And we choose chorus, which is what this is. It's a chorus song. Yeah. And I'm actually going to delete that because we're not using that at all. Uh, so we'll go to MIDI Learn. We've set that. We're in the chorus profile. Don't need to rename. We're in the chorus profile. And so we want to say on the response, let's say the response. Now, again, the basic tap option. I don't want um, it to be playing on a single tap on my, this is my preference here. I prefer a single tap to start recording. So we'll go back to actions and we will choose record. The target is response. The action is toggle. And that's, toggle's great for bindings of controllers, right? Um, if the clip has audio, we overdub, uh, we use the default settings. And uh, this is, that's E0, that's one of the buttons on my Launchpad X. Um, the third from the right on the bottom, if you must know. Now, it's set to trigger on note on. I prefer note off. So I do the thing of holding the button and letting go when I want to start. This is all a matter of individual taste. Yeah, don't, don't go, don't go... Um, uh, um, um, don't worry. You you have your own preferences and go with those. So I also want the option to uh, toggle play as well. And uh, I'm going for the button directly above um, um, our record button. And uh, again, catching that off. And I also like to uh, be able to clear a clip from my controller. And to do that, again, I have the button directly above my record button. And instead of press and release, I'm just having hold be the um, be the button that clears. Yep. So uh, so if I hold it for long enough, the, the, the thing will get cleared. So and then I do the same sort of thing for the pre-chorus where I am. Uh, play stop is going to be the button above the one I want to be the record and it's going to be off as per and uh, clear clip uh, hold the same clip hold the same button and uh, record clip uh, pre-chorus toggle listen for that and change that to off I kind of wish there was an option to say by default when you're binding a button press um, choose whether it's, you know, say, in general, I prefer off. 
you know, so uh, that's that one. And then we do the same sort of thing. Play stop toggle uh, with uh, E off, E1 off, sorry. Um, and uh, clear clip is going to be hold that button. And record is going to be F0 off. So now we might want to do um, uh, the, the sort of quite a common form in folk songs is where you've got call, response, uh, another another line of verse, and then the pre-chorus chorus. Oh, the rain, it rains all day long. Bold Riley, oh, bold Riley. And them northern winds, they blow so strong. Bold Riley, oh, has gone away. Goodbye, my sweetheart. Goodbye, my dear, oh. Bold Riley, oh, bold Riley, goodbye, my darling, goodbye, my dear, oh, bold Riley, oh, has gone away. Oh, we're outward bound for the Bengal Bay, bold Riley, oh, bold Riley, get bending, me lad. Tis a hell of a way. Bold Riley -o has gone away. Goodbye, my sweetheart. Goodbye, my dear. Bold Riley, -o, bold Riley. Goodbye, my darling. Goodbye, my dear. Bold Riley. -o has gone away and that's doing that sort of multi-part um, chorus type thing now there is a fourth kind of thing that we often find uh, you often find um, a thing in oh oh right okay I've discovered a thing about the bindings let's just um, if we go to uh, MIDI bindings what's happening there is the play is the off is triggering and trying to play at the same time as the thing is cleared. So let's change the binding for that. Uh, play stop clip three. Uh, rather than have um, rather than have it be on the off, have it be on the on, and then it won't um, it won't get confused. Uh, I'm just going to, those are not right, so I'm just going to delete those stop nons. Uh, delete that. And we're going to uh, go back to MIDI Learn. MIDI Learn, play stop. We're going to clear that. Actually, we're going to make it just on rather than off. Go to that, D sharp off. And we're going to make it on rather than off. And we're going to make this play stop is B, B on. So now I hope when I press and hold those buttons. Uh, ah, ah, yes, they're always. Something weird's going on. Play stop, D1 on, clear clip, hold D1.
I'm just looking at what other bindings we've got. Let's see if there's anything. Ah, right, yeah, that's clear, clear, clear. Default bindings are cleared. Project wide follow actions, not worrying about those. Just going to save and reload. Right, okay. Actually, I've just remembered, I actually prefer these to stop rather than to be um, play stop. On my thing, I, almost, I never want to play and I find stop is a better uh, approach. So let's change that to stop. Uh... Let's change that to stop and let's change that to stop. And now, by the way, for some reason, they are now showing up as nice little red buttons as being the, the associated with the red loops. Um, so um, that then lets us do, you know, so Lord, build me a cabin in the corner of glory land In the shade of the tree of life that it may ever stand Where I can just hear those angels sing and shake Jesus' hand Lord, build me a cabin in the corner of glory land Now that is the chorus, but I'm recording on the response Because it's not the same as a chorus where when you loop it because it's it's um it's one of these choruses where the the the, the pickup note the pickup word can change. So, uh, dear Lord, I'm not asking to many years. I've been searching for a place to call home, but I failed here to find it. So I must travel on. I don't care for fine mansions in a sinking sand. Lord, build me a cabin in the corner of glory land. Yeah, build, build me. me a cabin, cabin in the corner, corner of glory land, land. In, in the shade, shade of the tree of life that it, it may ever stand, stand. Where, where I can just hear those angels sing and shake Jesus' hand Lord, Lord build, build me a cabin, cabin in the corner of glory land you know so I'm Time through it. Lord, build me. Yeah, build me. Come on, build me. I'll build. So all sorts of different sort of impromptu words in the um, in the lead into the chorus uh, that we don't want to be catching and recording because they change. So what you do is you you set it so that you, you use a one shot rather than a loop. And that one shot is going on the usually on the downbeat on the bit that doesn't change. And we can delete it by pressing a button. Um, and we can give ourselves a, um, a nice convenience mechanism here as well, obviously, because when you've got a fully populated thing, you kind of want to be able to delete everything all at once. So let's make a button. Uh, let's put it down here. Let's call it. Let's call it reset. And when we long press it, 
we want it to clear not one clip, we want it to clear all clips. So now, um, and let's make it red so that it shows up. I mean, admittedly, it doesn't, and in fact, I'm going to do something. Let's make it not bright red. Let's make it green. So if you're red, blink, green, red, green, colour blind, tough luck. Um, let's make it not. <laughs> so let's be not spiteful and make it blue. Right. We're not talking about necessarily, you know, I'm not the world's greatest manufacturer of colours and stuff like that. And I don't have red, green, colour blind mis myself. But let's not be let's not be um, rotten to people who are. So that gets us a surprisingly decent way along the road to a performance ready template. I mean, it is performance ready, but if you think about what you're doing, if you are driving this through um, um, through a pedal board, we've at the moment we've got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six buttons tied up on our controller and if you're on a pedal board well that's six buttons so it would be nice if there were a way of automating the process okay so the way generally you automate a process or I automate a process on um, uh, The way generally that I automate a process on Loopy Pro is with a thing called a stepped dial. So we're going to start with uh, a very simple step dial process. We're going to think about the commonest um, chorus form that I tend to sing, where you've got the pre-chorus and the chorus. And it, it, uh, it covers quite a bit of what we're going to need. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go back into pencil mode and we are going to go into, let's choose the grid, and the thing that we want is one of these. This is a stepped dial. And I'm going to, let's give this the name, um, pre-chorus. And what also, so what, what you can do with your pre-chorus is have it do something when you um, change where you are on the dial. So we're going to want a button, which will, so, so if you look, we can, the select item and individual items can, can trigger on select, on deselect, or on either. And so we're going to have our first item, and our first item will be waiting or empty. That's the state we want this dial to be in when we are waiting for our first action. And what we're going to do as well, let me just, um, I'm going to add another button. And this button is going to, when it's released, what it's going to do is it's going to trigger a widget and the widget it's going to trigger is our pre-chorus control and the action it's going to take is going to be to scroll that's dead right and we're not going to assign a value we're going to nudge a value and we're going to nudge it by one okay and uh, we're not going to wrap around so at the moment, that doesn't really do much, does it? it um, when we go and look here, let's turn it out of edit mode. But you can see that when we let it go and when we move it back, let it go, let it go, it nudges forward. So what we can do 
So when that first one is nudged forward, we can go, oh, right, well, the first thing that happens, if we are driving this as a song, what do we do? Well, the first time we press the button, when it's selected, we are going to, well, we're going to start recording a specific clip, and the specific clip is going to be the pre-chorus. Yeah? And then the next time we press the button, uh, let's, uh, let's, this is another of those places where we don't want to be um, toggling. We want to be very specific about the actions that we want to happen. Uh, so that will be uh, start initial record. Yep. Yeah. So that's what that's doing. And then next we want to, uh, well, we're going to want to finish the record and um, finish can't type. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to be lazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that and tap on reorder. And I'm going to drag that to select. I'm going to choose it and I'm going to say, well, actually, in this case, we want to stop. And of course, when we stop recording, that will then immediately start recording because we've got because of the follow actions. It will immediately start recording the um, uh, the chorus loop. So we don't need to worry about starting recording the chorus loop. But we do. So the next time we press a button, it will be to stop recording, not the pre-chorus, but the chorus. Yeah. Now, this is all very well for our first recording. So we might do... Um, <coughs> um, what would we... Oh, yeah. And we'll all... Let's actually turn it so we can press it. And we'll all hang on behind And we'll roll the old chariot along We'll roll the old chariot along We'll roll the old chariot along And we'll all hang on behind Now, next time we press it, what do we want to happen? We want to jump back to the point where we're dubbing the pre-chorus. So next time we press it, so the next thing here is going to be, let's just, uh, I'm going to be kind and I'm going to go start Actually, that's a point. I've, it would, because we're <laughs> I'm just going to let these things be default. Use the default names because they're they're fine. Anyway, so uh, when we go to item five, what we're going to want to do when it's selected is we're going to trigger a widget again. And this time, what we're going to do, we're going to trigger this widget, but we're going to jump back. We're going to select number two. And the other thing that we need to do with that is to, we also need to uh, on select, trigger, target. After we've moved the dial, we then need to re-trigger the current value. Okay. So now, um, uh, working automation wouldn't do us any harm. No working automation wouldn't do us any harm. No working automation wouldn't do us any harm. And we'll all hang on behind and we'll roll the old chariot along. We'll roll the old chariot along. We'll roll the old chariot 
went along and we'll all hang on behind and learning loopy pro wouldn't do us any harm no learning loopy pro wouldn't do us any harm no learning loopy pro wouldn't do us any harm and we'll all hang on behind and we'll roll the old chariot along we'll roll the old chariot along we'll roll the old chariot along and we'll all hang on behind That's not quite right. Did you? I pressed that twice and it should have queued up the timeout. So I think what I'm going to do... Oh, I know why as well. See, here's the bug. By looping back, we have stop recording pre-chorus only matters on the initial recording of the pre-chorus. So we can't simply repeat what happened uh, there. What we have to do is to, we need to essentially duplicate record pre-chorus and we want that to be uh, our first stop recording clip. So the next time we press it we're going to record the pre-chorus and then we don't need to worry about stop recording pre-chorus and we don't need to worry about recording, um, about, about sorry, we don't need to worry about stop recording pre-chorus and we don't need to worry about start recording chorus because that is fully automated. So what we will need to do is after we've recorded the pre-chorus, the next thing we need to happen is to stop recording clip three, which is the chorus. And then finally, our next thing is going to trigger the widget and we are going to go back, so the target is still that, and we're not selecting two anymore, we are selecting uh, I think it's six, not sure, let me just look, step six, no we want step five don't we, so we want step five and then we're going to trigger the widget again and it's just quicker to duplicate uh, but the action is going to be instead still going to be that but the action is going to be re-trigger so let's see where it's at just at the moment it's on uh one, two, three, four. So the next action is going to be record pre-chorus, then we're going to stop recording the chorus. So, right, so we can just confirm it all works. <sighs> and debugging our stuff wouldn't do us any harm. Debugging our stuff wouldn't do us any harm. Debugging our stuff wouldn't do us any harm. And we'll all hang on behind and we'll roll. Chariot along, we'll roll the old chariot along, we'll roll the old chariot along, and we'll all hang on behind. And remember in the tempo wouldn't do us any harm. Remember in the tempo wouldn't do us any harm. Remember in the tempo wouldn't do us any harm. And we'll all hang on behind and we'll roll the old. Chariot along, we'll roll the old chariot along, we'll roll the old chariot along, and we'll all hang on behind. So that's working, that's going back. We're not having to give it any extra presses or anything like that. So that's great. Um, um, and what we'll do is we will also make um We'll configure our reset button as well. So when we press it, it resets, it triggers the widget again. Target that widget there. Uh, and we're selecting one, which has no actions defined, but that's fine. So now when we tap, tap reset, 
it goes back to the beginning. And the other thing I want to do is I don't want resets to um, uh, change colour in quite that same way. So I'm going to that and I'm going to say uh, shows active state, ignore action states. Yeah, so... So now when we press it and we tap it, it only lights up when we're actually tapping it or holding it. Oh, not even when we're holding it. I just want to just check. Reset. Long press is still clear all clips. So that's a point. Let's just uh, drop uh, drop a Nelson's word, and we'll and we'll all hang on behind, and we'll roll the old chariot along. Let's just make sure long press of reset does what we need. No, it doesn't. So. What we're going to make long press of reset do is to we're going to add an action to it and we're going to trigger trigger a widget and we're triggering ourselves and the action we're triggering is press and we're going to uh don't think that will matter um and we'll all hang on behind and we'll roll the old. Now when we press and hold reset, everything gets cleared and the controller goes back to the start. Now, that's all very well. But what happens, I hear you ask, when you want to make... Uh, a different kind of action. What happens when you want to do the call and response thing? Do you need to have separate buttons? Well, yes and no. <laughs> I'm going to show you a magic trick. Um, actually, let's 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 make let's start with the separate buttons option. I'm going to shrink this. And I'm just going to make it so that it's there, yeah? And then I'm going to make another one. I'm going to duplicate it. Am I going to duplicate it? Do I need to duplicate it? Yeah, I'm going to duplicate it because it's... And this is going to be for um, just a straight chorus. Right now, uh, chorus control. We aren't needing to record the pre-chorus. We aren't need to stop recording the pre-chorus. We can delete those actions completely. We don't need to stop recording. We don't need to deal with the pre-chorus. We are going to. Let's just, in fact, um, empty. Always a good place to have a starting thing. We're going to, on our first time, we are going to uh, record a specific clip. The specific clip is the chorus. We're going to record it. And our next time we press it, we are going to, um, I'm going to do the usual trick of duplicating and reordering because it's just faster, honest, I promise. And that's going to uh, be stop recording. And then uh, our next action is going to be, um, we're going to add an item and the select action is going to be trigger a widget. Target, chorus control, action is going to be select two, i.e. start recording the chorus again. And we're going to duplicate that as well. And we're going to change it to re-trigger current value. And we're going to make another button. In fact, we're going to duplicate a button 
were going to make its target be chorus control. So now, uh, heal your whole boys, let her go, boys, bring her head round into the weather. Heal your whole boys, let her go, boys, sailing homeward to mingle. What can we, boys? How white the minches! What can we, boys? The wind and weather. When we know that every inch is closer homeward to mingle. Heal ya ho, boys! Let her go, go boys. Bring, bring the head round into, into the, the weather. Heal ya ho, boys. Let her go, boys. Sailing homeward to mingle. Lay. So that works for that. Um, now the only problem we need to obviously. Reset isn't resetting, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate that and we're going to change its target to chorus control. So now when we press and hold reset, when we press and hold reset, that flips back to zero. But we want a button. Let's call it magic. And let's make it the most magical of colours, purple. No, not brown, purple. OK. So what we want to be able to select. So I'm going to just. Just make this smaller again. Not you, go away. We want to have some mechanism for selecting what form of chorus song we're going to be singing. Yeah. And we want something to happen. So what I'm actually going to get rid of these buttons. And we're going to add a grid, which is a radio button which is going to be a two by and it's only going to have two items and the first one is pre chorus and the second one is loop loop chorus and we're going to want something that's going to behave based on that and we're going to so we're going to and the usual way of encapsulating behavior of course we know <laughs> uh, and also by default I'm going to the behavior here is we're not worrying about the actions we are selecting ourselves because we're going to select things into a different state. So when we want, we want the sort of thing where the, when we press the magic button, pre-chorus, that pressing that magic button is going to move the pre is going to move the pre-chorus controller, and when we switch to loop chorus and press the magic button, it's going to move chorus control. So we want something that's going to change with the state and behave in an interesting way. And the magic thing that we have to do that with is a stepped dial. Who knew? Um, so 
what we're going to do is we are going to let's call it selector um, uh, arrangement arrangement selector now clearly what we're going to want to happen is we're going to have uh, the first selection is going to be pre chorus and if we think about the action that we tend to use to make things happen is we is is the nudge yeah so what we can do is we select and when it's selected we trigger a widget and our target widget in because we're in pre-chorus mode is the pre-chorus widget and we scroll it and we nudge it by one and then after we've done that what we need to happen is we're going to scroll our self by minus one so and then what we want to do is we want to configure the pre-chorus button on the radio grid that when it's selected it's going to trigger the widget and the target will be the arrangement control, arrangement selector, and the action will be to select one, which has no actions. But what it does is it dispatches our own action to the other widget. And we want, when we select loop chorus, obviously what it's going to do is it's going to, well, we can duplicate again, can't we? Duplicate, reorder select and instead of selecting steps one we're going to be selecting three and let's configure that so uh, obviously um, this is going to be just uh, looped chorus yeah and it's going to do exactly the same thing but with a different target so the controller it wants to deal with is the chorus controller and we also want to bounce back so now what we've got let's just the other thing I, want, I like to do with these sorts of things is to just delete the extraneous stuff Oh, and I forgot a thing. I forgot that these need to be moved to not the initial state, but to the nudged state. So now we've got the thing. So we are now in a looped chorus mode. So pressing the magic button, which I need to configure. So the release on the magic button will nudge so trigger target is the arrangement scrolling yes not assigning but nudging by one so now heal your hope Heal ya ho boys, let her go boys, bring her head round into the weather. Heal ya ho boys, let her go boys, sailing homeward to Mingalay. And you see it bounced back. As we let it go. Heal ya ho boys, let her go boys, bring the head round into the weather. Heal ya ho boys, let her go boys, sailing homeward 
to mingle. Now, something weird happened before I just... I'm just going to confirm in the record settings. Ah, yeah, it's set to threshold recording, which we don't want. Uh, I left that wrong oh, because I'm a fool. So... And we'll all hang on behind And we'll roll the old chariot along We'll roll the old chariot along We'll roll the old chariot along And we'll all hang on behind What's going on here? Hmm. The thing that I thought was giving power is not giving power. Uh, let's just... Sorry, I'm going to hide something from you. Well, I quickly look at a thing. Right, it's being charged. That's great. Uh, and I've just turned play in the background back on so that you don't lose me when I change to a different app again. And you can see that again. So that's sort of all you need to know to set up however you want things to be recorded. Obviously, we've got other modes that we want, and there are um, there are other aspects of this that need to be dealt with. Um, and part of that is one of the things we're going to do is is these 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 buttons here these step dials here are kind of a distraction you they're good to see when you're developing your layout but they're less splendid when you are um when you you, you want the only buttons you want to see are buttons that actually change behavior not some dial that's doing something in the background to make sure you get the behavior you want. So really, we don't want to see these. We just want to see these. And we can sort of fix that by copying them and then uh, deleting them. And then what we'll do is we'll make another page. I tend to call this machinery. And this is where I hide stuff like this. Now, this isn't quite going to work anymore because we need to change some targets back on the uh, on the chorus page. So reset is it's targeting a wrong wid widget. So the uh, widget we need to target is the chorus control and we need to target The other control and what else do we need to do um, clear all clips press button reset that's fine they're they're all working um, and magic is going to want to scroll not the widget we deleted but the widget we replaced it with because uh, we copied it across and obviously that's going to be targeting that same widget on the other page and that's going to want to be targeting that same widget on the other page. And I will just confirm, quite important this, that these are scrolling. Yeah, I think so. Let's come back. Let's choose a straight chorus. And we'll all hang on behind and we'll roll the old 
chariot and long wheel roll the old chariot and long wheel roll the old chariot and long and we'll all hang on behind there you go so that's that's sort of nice isn't it um so what we can then what we want to do then is to um make control dials for the pickup chorus which records into response and for the full the full monty you know the full uh, thing so let's let's do that let's go and um let's add while we're here let's add uh, a couple more items so let's go with pickup chorus and um uh response pre chorus guess you can't type and we can't select the dial yet because it's not been configured but um and let's just make that a bit bigger um meanwhile over in machinery uh we're going to add um can we duplicate no we can't duplicate a step so um uh pick up chorus is one it's not an action that's a, i'm a fool um we're adding an item called pick up chorus and we're adding another item for its action and we're adding another item and another item and that will be um response res response pre chorus and again we can't it's not triggering anything yet because of course we haven't met the um um oh, words words i know words words are great um it's not triggering yet because we've not uh, we haven't got the, the the controllers for them to to work with so um let's just uh so we're going to make a new we're going to make a new um stepped dial let's have a look that's that's the pre-chorus that's the chorus control this is um actually i think copy paste i think the only thing that changes with the um so this is uh the pickup chorus The only thing that changes here is which clip we're acting acting on so the clip is in fact specific clip its response instead of chorus and its response instead of chorus so that's that uh, select ourselves and re-trigger so that's fine so now so that i'm gonna just i'm not gonna, i'm gonna debug that later but um for now that's that one and so uh pick up chorus we're going to want to duplicate and reorder 
duplicate and reorder. And the step dial is not chorus control, but pickup chorus control. And the step dial is not So then, yeah, that's that's that configured. And then, so, with, we are, we start with initial, in which nothing happens. We have, um, words, I'll get words. So first of all, we're going to want to, so the first time we tap the button, we will want to, select and we're going to record a specific clip and this is for the full bollocks the full Monty so we're going to record the response and we're going to record it that's fine and then we are going to stop recording the response and we can duplicate and reorder it's faster if I remember that that's what I'm going to do and that's going to stop recording. And then the next time we press it, we are going to, on select, we are going to start recording the um, specific clip. We're going to start recording the pre-chorus. And then on the next one, we are going to stop recording the pre-chorus. So that's record the pre-chorus, stop recording the pre-chorus, and then we are going to stop recording, just duplicate and remove for heaven's sake, duplicate, we're going to stop recording the chorus, so that's all our initial recording done. And then next time, step item seven. Item seven is worth bearing a note because item seven is where we're going to come back to, yeah? So uh, I'm just going to put that on a piece of paper so I remember. Item seven is where we're going to come back to. We are going to start recording the response. And the next one is going to be a duplicate of stop recording the response. That's going to be start recording, obviously. We're going to start recording the response. Then we're going to uh, we're going to add a few more steps. So after we've stopped recording the response, we're going to start recording the pre-chorus. Into select. Then we're going to stop recording because we don't need to stop recording the pre-chorus because that happens automatically. We're going to stop recording the chorus. And I've remembered we don't need to stop recording the response, do we? Because that is done again automatically because it's a one shot. So I've deleted that. And then the final one is going to be uh, jump back to step seven and re-trigger. So trigger widget target. Uh, target this one and step seven, wasn't it? Yes, it was step seven and duplicate and the action is in fact to re-trigger. Um, and we're going to name that uh, resp.
response chorus CTL. Yeah, okay, that's just so now we want to add duplicate that reorder. Duplicate that, reorder, and the step dial we want to trigger is the response pre-chorus. So that's that. And then over on the reset, we want to reset all, you know, as well as the chorus controls, we want to do the response pre-chorus and we want to do the pickup chorus controller. So now reset, pressing reset will reset um, everything. So now let's see. Oh, the rain, it rains all day long. Bold Riley, oh, bold Riley. Pickup chorus is... I've got the behaviour of pickup chorus wrong, haven't I? So let's have a look at that pickup chorus controller. just I'm not sure we actually need that re-trigger I could be wrong oh yeah we do but we're re-triggering the wrong thing and I think we've got the same problem And what's going on here? Um, oh, I think we've got the, um, we forgot to link these up. That's why. So we want to Duplicate and reorder. Select five. Duplicate and reorder. Select seven. Select seven. So let's just go and look in the machinery. That's pointing to the right place, the response pre-chorus. So now, um, oh, the rain, it rains all day long. Roll dryly, oh, bold Riley. And them northern winds, they blow so strong. Bold Riley, oh, has gone away. Goodbye, my sweetheart. Goodbye, my dear O. Bold Riley, oh, bold Riley. Goodbye, my darling. Goodbye, my dear O. Bold Riley, oh, has gone away. Um. Oh, we're out 
Westward bound for the Bengal Bay. Bold Riley, oh bold Riley. Something weird is happening there. And I don't know what it is. Um, let me save the project. I'm going to uh, just restart Loopy Pro. Um, okay, I should be back. Oh, we're outward bound for the Bengal Bay. Bold Riley, oh, bold Riley. Get bend in, me lads, tis a hell of a way. Bold Riley, oh, has gone away. Goodbye, my sweetheart. Goodbye, my dear, oh. Bold Riley, oh, bold Riley. Goodbye, my darling. Goodbye, my dear, oh. Bold Riley, oh, has gone away. Oh, the anchor's weighed and the sails are all set. Bold Riley, oh, bold Riley. And them Liverpool girls will not forget. Bold Riley, oh, has gone away. Goodbye, my sweetheart. Goodbye, my dear old. Bold Riley, oh, bold Riley. Goodbye, my darling. Goodbye, my dear old. Bold Riley, oh, has gone away. So that works, and then... Uh, Lord, build me a cabin in the corner of glory land. So that's, Lord, build me, build me a, cabin a cabin in the corner, corner of glory, glory land. land. That's me being crap. Lord, build me, Lord, build, build me a cabin in the corner, corner of glory land. land. What I happened there was I pressed the reset button, didn't I? And that um, that reset the 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 dial to. Uh, the wrong place, essentially. Um, <laughs> so that's kind of what we want, isn't it? There are a few things that I would like to be able to do that I can't currently easily do. Um, What do I mean? What am I talking about? Right, yes, yeah. Um, when I've got um, that pickup note, it would be nice to be able to double tap pre-chorus and have it say, well, actually, what it would be really nice to do, and we can't do it, and I'll show you why. Um, let's just, um, what it would be nice to do, and there's currently a bug in Loopy Pro that means we can't, is I, in general, want to... When I'm overdubbing the chorus, until the last time through the chorus, I don't want to loop the chorus. See what I mean? Um, so what I really want to do is as soon as the chorus is started, what I would like to do is to add an action. I'll get there in the end. So we're adding a follow action. And after the beginning of every overdub, what we're going to do is to this clip we're going to request that we stop recording the overdub we're going to start a count out and um for if if that happens immediately what will actually happen is it won't happen we won't record anything um because it's quantized to the loop and the loop is just finished so if but if we set it with a delay of an eighth note or something like that It'll look a bit weird, but 
And I'm also going to add a button, um, which I'm going to set to cancel the count out on the clip. Um, I've got a button to, yes, cancel count ins and count outs. So I'm going to cancel that. Um, I can't say whether it's specifically count ins or not. Um, and it's doing it on all of them. I can't have it happen on a specific clip, which is not brilliant, but it'll do for now. So uh, we're in pre-chorus. Um, we're in pre so we've got, and we'll all hang on behind and we'll roll the old chariot along. We'll roll the old chariot along. We'll roll the old chariot along and we'll all hang on behind and a way to cancel count outs wouldn't do us any harm hey working cancel count outs wouldn't do us any harm hey working cancel count outs wouldn't do us any harm and we'll all and we'll all hang on behind and we'll roll the old chariot along we'll roll the old chariot along we'll roll the old chariot along and, and we'll, we'll all hang, hang on behind and we'll roll the old chariot along we'll, we'll roll the old chariot along we'll roll the old chariot along and we'll all hang on behind did you see what happened there we recorded two loops worth of stuff but it wasn't looping and if you listen and we'll roll the old chariot along. We'll roll the old chariot along. We'll roll the old chariot along. And we'll all hang on behind. And we'll roll. So that's the bug. And it's frustrating. But it will get fixed because Michael, who develops Loopy Pro, is a fantastic developer and everything will be fine. But for now, it's a little more fiddly than I'd like. We'll cope. We'll absolutely cope. So let's um, let's remove that follow action. And remove that button. But that's that's pretty close to what you want. Now, um, the next I need to check the time. Oh God, it's half past four. Uh, the next trick that um, we can do with this is using um, uh, the Myrac thing that I've got set up here to um, mess with the pan of where things are recorded on the overdubs and. Um, I'm going to make an, there is already a video of how to use that. Um, this is how we wire it up to our um, chorus song recordings setup. And that's, I'm going to do that in another session because um, I need to wind up now because my wife will be coming home from dialysis. And um, thank you very much for. Um, watching this i hope you found it useful uh, i especially hope that um you know this is slightly disorganized and it will be edited down to something less disorganized and hopefully a bit more compact um with all my ums and ers removed and all that kind of stuff or i might just leave it uh, depends i'm going to go and watch it and see how embarrassed i am by it Thank you for sticking with me. Um, this is fully supported by the um, people who donate to my um, Ko-fi page, which is linked down down there somewhere. And um, uh, specifically, I have one one sort of high level patrony type chap called Merlin Madgower, who who um, makes a monthly donation. And if you'd like to be credited at the end of these things as well, then then. Um, go to Kofi and, and set up a recurring payment. But uh, do not in any way feel, feel obliged. I'm putting this out because 
Uh, I just hope it will be useful and, and you will enjoy it and get use from it. So I'm going to um, I'm going to sing us out with um, um, a full uh, rendition of um, uh, Bold Riley. But first, I'm going to get my button here bound to a button on here so that it works and I can um, and I can I can so I can drive this from this button rather than having to keep tapping away at the screen so um, I'm not going to use uh, um, yes I am <laughs> oh the rain it rains all day long Bold Riley, oh bold Riley, and them northern winds, they blow so strong. Bold Riley, oh, has gone away. Goodbye, my sweetheart, goodbye, my dear, oh. Bold Riley, oh, bold Riley, goodbye, my darling, goodbye, my dear, oh, bold Riley, oh, has gone away. Oh, we're outward bound for the Bengal Bay, bold Riley, oh, bold Riley. Get bending, me lads, tis a hell of a way. Old Riley O has gone away. Goodbye, my sweetheart. Goodbye, my dear O. Old Riley O, bold Riley. Goodbye, my darling. Goodbye, my dear. Has weighed and the sails are all set. Bold Riley, oh bold Riley, and them Liverpool girls will not forget. Bold Riley, oh has gone away. Goodbye, my sweetheart. Goodbye, my dear old. Bold Riley, oh bold Riley, goodbye my darling, goodbye my dear old, bold Riley, oh has gone away. Oh cheer up Mary, don't look gloom, bold Riley, oh bold Riley. Come white stocking day, you'll be drinking rum. Old Riley O has gone away. Goodbye, my sweetheart. Goodbye, my dear O. Old Riley O, old Riley. Goodbye, my darling. Goodbye, my dear. All day long, bold Riley, oh bold Riley, and them northern winds they blow so strong. Bold Riley, oh has gone away. Goodbye, my sweetheart. Goodbye, my dear. Oh, bold Riley, oh, old Riley, old Riley.
Thank you very much. I hope you found it useful. See you in on. I stream on Friday nights, 8pm UK time. It will be lovely to see you there. Cheers. Bye bye.